All right, problem 45, how many positive numbers x satisfy the equation cosine of 97x equals x? Uh, the way I thought about this problem is first think about the graph of cosine of x. So the graph of cosine of x looks something like this. For drawing, it starts up here at one. Starts is a weird thing to say because it goes infinitely in both directions. Um, and it takes two pi to recycle. So here is two pi right here. Um, so this is pi right here, for example. Okay, uh, and I only want positive numbers x satisfying this equation, so I won't worry about what happens over here. Here's the graph of cosine of x. But I don't want cosine of x. I want cosine of 97x. So what's going on here is I'm kind of scrunching this thing up. The 97 in front of the x is a horizontal transformation. What it does is it changes the pure period of the graph. Um, the new period of the graph, instead of being 2 pi, is 2 pi divided by 97. So maybe I can write that new period equals 2 pi over 97, which I'm not going to worry about what that's equal to right now. But in my head, I'm picturing this thing that kind of does this a bunch. Not drawn to scale. And what I want to know is when does that graph in green intersect with the graph of y equals x? y equals x is this guy right here. But I only want positive value solutions, so I really didn't even have to draw this to the right there, I could just draw it like this. The nice thing about this problem is the solutions are fairly spread out. So it'll be really easy, like, is it 15 or 16? Does it hit on that last one? Like, you won't have to think about things like that. You'll just have to get kind of a ballpark answer because of how spread out these solutions are. So, okay, let's think about this. If this graph, actually, think about it this way. Every time my cosine wave makes a complete cycle. So from here to here, for example, from here to here, I have a possibility that it intersects twice. Right? Each time this makes a cycle, it intersects twice. So anytime this completes a cycle between zero and one, my green graph and my blue graph are gonna intersect two times. And you might argue that, wait, on that last one, won't it only intersect one time if it just spread? Don't worry about that. The answers are spread out enough that it won't be an issue. Anytime this thing completes a cycle between zero and one, I'm gonna get exactly two intersections. So really the question, my answer, will be two times the number of cycles um, that occur from zero to one. So how many cycles occur from zero to one? Well. Originally, from 0 to 2 pi, one cycle occurred. But then I stretched this thing, or I guess squished it kind of horizontally. And so in, since I'm not looking at the red graph, I'm looking at the green graph. Really, from 0 to 2 pi, there are going to be 97 cycles. Um, but I don't want to know from 0 to 2 pi. From 0 to 2 pi, there's 97 cycles. But really, I only want from 0 to 1. Well, 2 pi is 6-ish. So if from 0 to 6-ish, there's 97 cycles, then from 0 to 1, there's going to be roughly 97 divided by 6 cycles. So my answer will be 2 times 97 over 6. Well, 97 over 6, I don't want to figure out what that is in my head. But if I do 2 times that, I get roughly 97 over 3. And 97 over 3, I can do that in my head. Uh, 90 over 3 would be 30. So this is just a little bit more than 30, 32-ish. Uh, so approximately 32. Let's go look at our answers right here. That's nowhere near 32. That's nowhere near 32. Hey, wait a minute. That's damn near 32, 31. Because these answers are so spread out, I don't have to be any more precise than that. The minute I get that my answer is approximately 32, I know that 31 is the correct answer.